welcome this is the energy vibration love reading for the gemini sun moon and rising sign for the month of january 2020 welcome gemini's thanks for returning all right gemini i see a new love is coming up in this month and this is really wonderful and positive um then we have um you're going to some of you could be finding new love through dating okay and this is going to be good i see you were destined to meet this person whoever this person for the people who are dating whoever you're meeting um it is someone from a past life and you were destined to meet this person so this is looking good for this month so new love is definitely coming in i see a lot of you dating and via dating you're going to be meeting this person and you were destined to meet because it's someone from a past life there again a lot of dating especially women who are dating you're going to be meeting a new love i see blockages is coming up in dating this month i didn't know and it has to do with um women 45 years and older i see um, that there's blockage some of you are going to be getting pregnant and um, this is um, the pregnancy that is coming in is going to be from someone who you have known in past lifetime so a lot of you could be traveling and meeting new people you could be um, traveling and dating and really meeting new people so I see um, some of you who ladies who are dating I see you're going to be meeting someone new but I see a block is going to be between you and this person so blocks can come up in different different ways I see you mature ladies were destined to meet whoever you're meeting in this um, um, month you were destined to meet this person so if you're 50 and over you meet someone you were destined to meet this person some of you definitely are going to be um, receiving gifts of love um, appreciation but you're also be going to be getting pregnant okay so you're coming in this month flirting a lot of flirting is going on and this is the people who are dating so a lot of your dating new peoples you're meeting and a lot of flirting is going on and this is um really really good okay so i see some of you are going to be meeting your soulmate via dating and if the question if you have met someone new um the question is uh, yes they are your soulmate so i see that um some of you have met someone um lately and have been dating this person and you feel as if they're a soulmate yes they are your soulmate okay um this could be the one also um i see that you ladies um who are dating um you're flirting a lot with someone and you're thinking is this the person this could be the one yes but you are being blocked for whatever reason that you're being blocked we are going to be looking to see the reason why you have been blocked pay attention some of you who are dating pay attention to the red signs okay um sometimes we don't we do as if we don't see the red signs pay attention to the red sign and it is cautioning especially the people who are dating they want you if you are dating someone and you realize that the person like you're always talking to the person but the person is always with the eyes all over the room let it go because that is not something for you you gotta let it go move on that is that is not what you're looking for okay so pay attention to the red signs how people behave can tell you a lot as you move into a relationship or as you take the relationship to another stage so be aware all right so i see let your um let your feelings show okay so people who are dating you are meant to meet someone and this is all about dating for you gemini's in this month and it's all about you connecting with someone and it's by via dating you are going to be meeting someone and you were destined to meet this person okay so it's a lot of dating that is going on for you guys ladies 40 years and older you have been asking for um yeah 50 years and older you have been asking for the right person to come in your life and this person is definitely going to be coming in there is no question about it 
um, this person is going to be coming in very soon. There was some blockages that was transpired where we're going to be looking at the blockages and see what is coming out. Some of you need to free yourself from a relationship before you can meet someone new. It's as if some of you are in a relationship or is dating and um, before the universe will deliver that person to you, you need to understand that you got to free yourself. It could be emotional burdens that you have been carrying from other relationships. And um, some of you um, free yourself from someone because you see the red signs and you're still holding on to this person and you need to um, release yourself. Trust. Um, people who have met someone and felt as if you have known them from the past life, trust, yes, you have known this person from a past life. So this is really coming up and this is going to be wonderful and positive because trust what you're feeling because you have really known this person from a past life. So trust, okay? Honor required love. Some of you ladies, um, 50 years and older or meeting people and is in a relationship that is unrequired love and this is why you're open and you're dreaming for someone new but someone is going to be coming in but they're saying to you do not um do not um separate yourself from a relationship because it's as if the relationship is over but you don't want to let go of the relationship and they want you to separate yourself and from you say to the universe i know this relationship is over it's not um serving the purpose that it's supposed to serve anymore and i'm letting go then someone is going to be coming in so some of you are having financial and career issues um that is affecting your relationship and some of you are dealing with someone from a past life but this was this was meant to be and the person your partner could be blocking your financial flow okay sometimes we're not even aware of this okay some of you um i've met someone overseas and they're saying make the effort to connect to this person okay i see you have been thinking about this person wondering about this person and they're saying pick up the telephone make the effort um to see this person okay and it could be a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn um, that some of you have met overseas. This person is mm, between 45, 50 years and older. And um, they're saying, pick up the phone, make the effort to connect with this person. So let's look at new love. And um, new love is coming in and it's um, soulmate. So um i see some deceptiveness that is going on so um you gotta be careful um because the red flags is here so some of you are in um or meeting someone but you gotta be careful because if it's an aquarian i see that um this um relationship could be based on deceptiveness okay some of you are trying to find strength in the dating world. There's a lot of flirting, but nothing is really happening for you. And you're wondering, you know, should I go any further with this? Because this is not really serving me. So this is coming up. I see some of you are going to be um, flirting with a Taurus, Virgo or a Capricorn. I see this person is very, very financial stable. I see you're meeting this person and really connecting with this person. So that is coming up. I see some of you, whatever conflicts you had between you and the new love, I see this conflict is going to be over. I see um, you realize that this person is really your soulmate and um, you are going to be ending this conflict. Okay. This could be the one. Yes, it could be the one because I see that you're going to be having a new start in a relationship. It could be the one you once a new start. You have met someone and now, you know, you took some time off and think, is this the one? Yes, it is the one. So I see you guys are going to be reconnecting. Um, some of you, um, are dealing with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. Okay. 
um i see that some of you wanted to reconnect with this person i don't think they really want to reconnect so um i really don't think they want to reconnect okay so um let your friends help you whoever this person is um so if you were dealing with a taurus virgo or a capricorn person or you're met so someone I don't think they really want to reconnect okay some of you were hoping um, hoping for to receive a message but the message has been blocked so you um, ladies 45 years and older you were really open to receive a message um, from someone you have met there was feelings there was um, there was um, a heartfelt feeling between you and this person but the message has not come in yet okay all right trust whatever is going on in your relationship okay um there's definitely some issues with money okay and i see that some of you i think your partner is so hung up on money that the intimacy has left your relationship so let's say that you're in a relationship with someone this person is only um interested in money and this is why um um there is no intimacy it's just so sad okay i see some of you are um really really um trust in um in you're putting your trust in a relationship this person and this relationship you were meant to meet so it could be a cancer um and whoever this person is because it's coming up as a cancer it, it, you know they are just connected with you because of money so trust your own intuition on this is a past life issue and as if you have returned to connect with this person and it is only um, for money okay definitely it's it's based on money uh, some of you are going to be reconnecting with a Taurus and this is going to be good this is a better relationship than um, with this um, Pisces or cancer okay trust your um, especially if it's a Pisces if you're in a relationship with a Pisces trust your um, trust yourself about this because this person is only in a relationship um, because of money the energy of you um, guys um, separation is going to be happening with um, you and a cancer or a Pisces okay I see separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon so um and maybe it's a gift is a gift in disguise um so I, I really see the separation that is coming up for you guys so you're um coming in the month some of you being flirty um but you're going out of the month where there could be separations and the separations could be coming up with people from past life cancers if you're in a relationship with a cancer or someone who is just based on only money and when the money is over the person is always gone so I see this is coming up and some of you could be turning your back on this sort of an issue and this sort of a behavior so really ladies and gentlemen go check out um, the extended of this reading to find out uh, who and what is transpiring because there is def definitely some deceptive let's see who the separation I see some of you are going to be finding out that your relationship was only based on financial stability um, because you were financial stable and this is why the person connected to you and I see you're going to make a decision to just uh, separate yourself even um, by not even letting the person know okay because I find I see that you found that this was just very destroyed um, to know that someone would really want to base uh, just for a thing there I see um, some of you saw the red flags in a relationship and you were going to ask someone to move in with you and you decided not to okay you saw the red flags in a relationship and you you decide you decided to, um, 
you had it on your mind to have someone to move in with you and then you decided not to I see a lot of you what is for free yourself and I see friends are going to be coming in to help you I see a lot of you want to free yourself and friends are going to be coming in to help you to free yourself from this relationship I see the ten of I see a lot of you are going to be realizing that because um, you could be financial stable and you had a real nice apartment or a house and that was why someone connected with you now it could affect it, 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 it doesn't really matter who you are man or woman so you could be very stable financial stable and this is why this person came in in the beginning to connect with you and I see you're finding this out and you're really just turning your back and you're leaving um, and moving away from this situation and I see you're going to be okay because whatever is happening and transpiring it's going to be okay because I realize that you um, find out that this doesn't serve you anymore and you're trusting your own intuition because some of you are trusting your own intuition some of you are going to be meeting someone whoever this person is this person could be an Aquarian be aware of this person because this person is very deceiving okay very deceiving so be aware of this person so let's move forward and um, I want to say um, to you Virgos it's, it's, it's a lot some of you are definitely going to be um, separating um, from a Pisces or a cancer but it's a water sign person I see you guys separating from I love you guys um, please like and share these videos and I will see you in the extended reading by using the link below please remember to subscribe subscribe share 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 these videos love is the only thing that is real namaste